Hello there! Today we're going to unbox the ASUS, or ASUS, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 graphics card. This is the overclocked edition, meaning it runs at 1253 MHz, as opposed to the regular non-overclocked editions that only run at a 1050 megahertz base speed or 1178 megahertz boost speed. This has 1664 CUDA uh, processing cores. It has 4 gigabytes of fast GDDR5 memory built in and it has a zero decibels super silent fan that actually shuts off when the graphics card is not under load. The Direct CU2 and the Strix or Strix or whatever actually relate to the design of the heatsink of the card. Let's now go ahead and take a look inside, see what this comes with. So here we go. Turn this around. We have a nice inner box with golden ASUS logo up there. We open this up. First of all, we find this uh, envelope right here. Inside of there, we have the manuals, the software that this comes with. And that's it. As we take away the styrofoam. Here we have the card itself, and I really gotta say, I am surprised how heavy this is. I really didn't expect that. Carefully take it out, and there it is. Rather fancy cooler, as you can see. And that's it. The box is now empty, so you don't get a VGA to DVI adapter anymore, which I guess is really not a bad thing, because I don't think anyone buying such a great graphics card is using an old VGA monitor. Also, you don't get a uh, connector for uh, connecting two graphics cards together. This is the top of the card. Zoom in on the fancy heatsink. Two fans, as I said, these shut off if the card is not under load to make your system a bit more silent. This is the underside of the card. As we zoom in, there we have the connectors to make two cards work together. Protected by plastic, as you can see. And over there we have the power supply connector, an 8-pin PCI Express connector. And here we have the connections that you get. We have a combination DVI and VGA port up there. We have a dual link DVI down there. We have an HDMI and a DisplayPort 1.2 over there. This card does support solutions up to 4K. And here we have the PCI Express connector. You take off the plastic protector and the card is ready to go into your computer, which should be equipped with a power supply that delivers at least 500 watts worth of power. And here is an example for how the card can look like when mounted into a computer system. The only unfortunate bit is that uh, the mechanic stability is not quite as good as it could be. This uh, seems to sag quite a bit. And that's it. The unboxing of the Asus NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 high-end graphics card. I should probably mention I paid 398 euro for this model. Thank you for watching, comment, 
rate, subscribe, and see you again soon.